Hello and welcome to today's video and in today's video we'll be showing you us getting some new koi for our koi pond so I'll show you Uh, the blue black on there Oh yeah Was that one that top one? So was that now we've got the brass one, the yellow one And then blue that multicoloured one The red, red one. yeah the red face Right, so the koi have been acclimating for uh, about 20 minutes now. So as you can see, we've got I don't I can't I don't know the exact name of these koi, but I'm sure most of you will be able to tell me in the comments down below. But we've got a yellow one, a blue and orange one, a black and red one, which looks proper cool. And then we got this proper cool brass one. And when we walked up to the tank, the brass one came straight up to us, and it was just proper friendly and it looks cool. So we got the brass one as well. So. And pop the bag open. Right, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to add a bit of uh, our water in first. There we go. There'll be definitely some old water now because I just added about half in. Right, so we're going to go with this yellow one first. My hands are wet so it won't take off the slime coat from the koi. Right, so we're going to get this yellow one first. If you will chillax. Well, as you can see, that is a beautiful fish. And he's gone, he shot at me on them. And now we're going to get the brass one. Yeah, you can see how beautiful that fish is. His lovely orange eyes. And then we've got this big orange, black, white. He's got a bit of blue in him in some spots. This one's going to look beautiful when he's big. He was a lot more calmer than the others, nice slow release. Doesn't he just look amazing? And then this one, which is my favorite out of all of them because I love the blue on him. There, this one is my favorite. Look at the colors on him. Wow, look at that. That is all the koi, but look at him swimming off. get this bag out and we'll show you some mint footage of our new koi. So it is the next day, the sun is shining at my face, so if I'm squinting a bit, that is why. Uh, but it is the next day and all the fish have been added and it does look amazing. The water for some reason is a tiny bit cloudy, but I think it's just because how hot it's been for the past few days. So the pond's still getting used to everything. Uh, well, the pond is definitely coming along. These new fish have brought the pond to life. All yesterday we were sitting right here and usually what the fish do, they hide straight under it in this lily pad here which most of them still do as you just saw probably a few there but now all the I, I move my arms around the pond like this they won't budge before they were jumping around everywhere swimming around like they were like they were going to get attacked if I move the tiniest bit but now the new koi is really com you can see the new yellow one is down at the bottom by them lily pads there the one with the red face that is a new one with the black stripes he looks amazing the blue one, which is my favourite, with the orange belly, looks so cool. And then, where is the brass one? The brass one is there. The shiny scales, and it looks so cool. With the blue one, they're all together at the moment, and they look proper cool. But the blue one, I've got loads of footage of it just swimming up to the glass, showing its colours off, and I'll play that clip now. But as you can see, Briefly, anyway, there's a lot of glare today. All the plants are doing mint, but the pond is looking amazing. Right, so I'm extending the video a bit because uh, I just nipped to the fish shop because the pond's a bit murky. Oh, don't want to see that. Pond's a bit murky. 
So we got to go and get some of this. Some more green water thing. And then we saw something really cool. We saw some sturgeon. So we thought, let's get the sturgeon. <laughs> so we got one sturgeon and we've also got an aerator because we know sturgeon only have one lung. Uh, so yeah, the sturgeon only have one lung so they need a lot of oxygen so we've got an air pump but we have got a sturgeon. But look how more confident the koi are. Look, they're literally just cruising across the surface. All the new koi are ridiculously confident. It's proper cool. The water's just a bit murky. I don't know why, but we've got this stuff to fix it. But the loving life. So what I'm going to do now is add this in while the sturgeon is... Look at him. Isn't he beautiful? Don't ask me why they put him in such a small bag. It proper annoyed me. I asked him if he's got a bigger bag, and he said no. But yeah, this, all the koi have been proper curious. All the koi are looking mint. Look at that koi, that one's beautiful, and that. But yeah, I'm going to get this pom pump in, and I'll show you that now. I just realised something. Why do fishing com fish pond companies do this? Right, so what I did, I opened the box. I was like, oh, cool. This is looking good, isn't it? Have a look. What a surprise, a pond company hasn't supplied you with a plug. Literally every single item I've brought for this pond so far electric wise and came with a pump. Filter not came with a pump. Oh, and look at all the new plants that we got. Some days over there, some purple flowers there, two different types of palms there. We've got a big palm already. That one kind of died, so we cut the leaves off hoping it, hoping it will survive. But yeah, pump didn't come with it. I mean, filter didn't come with it, pump didn't come with it, light didn't come with it. Why do pond companies do this? If you're a pond company, don't be a muppet. Even if you don't want to add it on, just leave them a plug in the box. Because I've got no plugs now, I need to go find something that's broke with a plug on to execute the plug. So if you're a pond company, just supply with plugs. <laughs> Alright, so uh, looks like I'm not adding that in yet. I'll grab a plug later and I'll sort that later off camera. But yeah, we'll wait for the sturgeon to come in and I'll show you that then. All the fish are welcoming their new friends. All of them were just up there. But they've gone back down now. But yeah, all the fish are being proper. Let's see if we can get any of them up feeding because they look hungry. Got some food here. This is the food we use. Chuck a bit of food in. See if I can get any feeding on camera. Oh, straight up. That was the chub. Go on. That's, this is a koi that we've recently got in this video. Easy eating, told you. All the koi are now proper, proper confidence around us, usually. Before we added these koi in, not one fish would even feed when I was outside, never mind sitting right by the ponds. They won't feed unless I'm inside. And now we just had two koi come up straight in front of me and eat. You can hear him screeching away over there with his long nose. But yeah, I'll, I'll cut out the boring parts and I'll show you the koi feeding a bit. Ones. One's coming, I one just there, it's that red one, he's a proper nice call he is. Oh, two at once, three. <laughs> I saw, I also saw at the fish shop, I saw this proper cool ball that you put food in, and then the koi chase it round and it drops food as it goes. And if you like to see that in the video, make sure you like this video and comment down below, you want to see the ball with food in and I'll go buy it. But yeah, uh, I'll show you when I'm letting the surgeon out now. Look how confident they are now. He's literally just swimming around eating. Then he sees his friends see him doing it, so his friends come up. Even Casper's coming up. There's Casper eating. Make sure you hit name ideas down below for all these fish. And now we also need a name for the sturgeon. Yep, so we need a name for the sturgeon as well. Right, so here is the sturgeon. If you didn't know this, sturgeon are my favourite freshwater animal. I love carp, I love koi, but I would, I just love sturgeon, the mint. And my dream fish to fish for is sturgeon. And I can't wait to eventually go fishing for sturgeon. But here he is. Let's get him out of this tiny bag. And we can get him released. So I'll bring you close and I'll show you a nice release of our new sturgeon. 
hit name ideas down below for this sturgeon. Alright, so let's pop the bag. Add a little bit of water in. So we get used to this new water. I'll get that aerator in tonight, so we've definitely already got enough water in this. Oxygen in this pond, just so you know. Whoa, it feels weird. Very sparky. Oh, there he is. That beautiful fish. Let him go slowly. And straight to the depths. Right, so it is a few days later, as you can see, the pond is crystal clear, I've done some big maintenance on it recently, I uh, basically got in the pond, rolled over all the gravel, let everything flick off all the uh, fish poo, everything, and then I let it drain, basically completely left, probably about a foot of water left, and filled it all the way back up, put some dechlorinator in, and it's looking amazing. As you can see, it looks really good, all the fish. Oh, loving life. But yeah, all our koi find that we've got recently, the sturgeon's fine, but we've got two more things to add, and then that is it for the ponds. So, we've got two weather loaches, which are mint bottom feeders, and really help the ponds keep clean. So, I'm going to stick you here, and I'm going to unbox the weather loaches. So, these were only like a few quid each off the internet, so we ordered these. That's why I haven't seen us go shop for them or anything. But they're like eels, they're really weird. I've got one now. Oh, he's, he's squirming up my finger. Alright, let's release them. Right, so the microphone will be a bit dodgy now because I've just put the camera underwater. But I'll get the other one out now. So here he is in my hands. Looks really cool. Uh, let's go underwater with him. Right, so those two are in. Sorry for the microphone being a bit dodgy now. But let them weather loaches are in. We'll probably never see them again until they get quite big. But yeah, I'll try to find them with the GoPro now and I'll show you some footage. So thank you for watching today's video. It is raining a little bit, but I need to film the outro because I'm currently editing this video. <laughs> so thanks for watching today's video. If you haven't already, make sure you like, subscribe, and comment down below. Ask us any questions. We'll, we respond to most of the comments. But we, what we've done in this video, we've added some like four, five, six, seven, seven new fish. And we're probably going to call it on stocking the fish now. So we've got four more coin in this video, a sturgeon and two weather loaches. And I still can't find any of them weather loaches anywhere. Uh, yeah, don't think I'm going to find them. But in a future video, I'll make sure I find them and show you in a future video. But thanks for sticking around all the way to the end of this video. And make sure you subscribe because soon we're doing a giveaway. When we hit 5k subs, we're going to do a massive giveaway. We're going to be giving away fishing bait, lost and fishing clothing, loads of stuff like that. But make sure you stay tuned for that anyway. I will show you a nice montage of the koi ponds underwater with my camera. Uh, now, so it's going to be a mint montage. Loads of the fish have always been active. And I'll show you that footage now.